Hello, I'm Christina, and today we'll talk to you about the ASVAB. And the ASVAB is for people who are going to the military, either the Army, Navy, Marines, Coast Guard, whatever branch you're getting into. Everybody has to take the ASVAB. If somebody told you, hey, I got a high SAT score, so I don't need to take the ASVAB, false. Don't, don't believe that bullcrap. That's not true. Everybody has to take the ASVAB, regardless, to get into the military. And the ASVAB stands for Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery. This test determines if you get into the military, that's the first step. And this test also determines what job qualifications of the job qualifications. So it's like a, a SAT test, but then it's like it's also a job assessment test to see what jobs that you can do well in and what you have to offer to the military as well with your knowledge and skills based on this test. So obviously this test is important. And I made this mistake because I didn't get a high enough score to get the job that I wanted in the army. But I got I got in but I didn't get the job that I wanted because I didn't take the test seriously. So now I know. Pass on the knowledge to you. So take my advice. Take the test seriously. Go and study for it. <clears throat> Please. You can save yourself the long run. So okay. For the sections of this test. These are the four sections that you need to do well in, well, do extremely well in it to get into the military. Math, English, word, comp word knowledge, and paragraph comprehension. These scores combined, you have to get at least a 33 or higher to get into the military. That's your first step you need to focus on. The second step is all the other sections. There's 10, sec there's 10 sections total. And there's science, electronics, automotive, shop information, mechanical comp comprehension, and assembly objects. So those are the other sections of the test. Well, what I did personally, I, I studied like a little bit of each of these sections. A little bit of each of these sections, you know, have some knowledge in them. Because like I said, this is also a job ass assessment. So let's say you go with um, cars. I will assume that you do very well in the automotive section. Or let's say you go with tools, then you're going to do very well in the shop information. It's whatever you know. And for me personally, I did well in the science section because I don't know, I'm a science geek and I know a lot about science know a lot about science. And and I love science, so I did well in that section. So it also it just depends on what you know and etc. But I advise you I advise you not to focus too much into into these sections just look over them briefly I guess just to have a little knowledge a little bit of each but definitely focus on what I just told you the math English word knowledge and paragraph co comprehension those are the scores that's gonna make a difference for your job for your job qualifications okay so what I use to study for this test I have the prep book like I showed you earlier this is the Barron's as that prep book it gives you practice tests and it gives you information every dumbed down information for example if you forgot how to do long division in math it breaks it down for you like it's a prep book it gives you all the basics you need to know how to take the test and tips and etc this many prep books online I bought this online for Amazon you know prep books and the, Mc the McGee prep book and stuff like that it's also um, prep test websites like March to success.com. My recruiter told me that it's a great website. Gives you all the basics of English and math and science if you really struggle in those areas. And there's many other websites as well. Just Google it. That's what I did. It takes some practice tests. The more practice, the better you get. Just like the SATs. Well, similar to that concept. Alright, so give you some tips about the test. The, the test I took, I took the CAT. C A T ASLAM, which is basically the fancy way of saying I took the computer version of the ASLAM, which is now commonly used as with computers. Before you have before you have the paper option and the computer option. It depends which math station you go to, but the one I took was the computer section the computer test. And the computer test is pretty nice because you can have an easy or a hard question and they are both worth the same value as in points 
So let's say you are on a computer and you, teach, you have an easy question and you got that right. Okay, since so you have an easy question right, now the computer is going to give you a more difficult question. But let's say you got a difficult question wrong, then they, they go back to an easy question and then it's worth the same value of points. So it doesn't matter. So if you all the easy one right, get difficult ones too, get, all, get, get the whole thing right. <laughs> and then like, as for skipping questions, the computer, you can't really skip questions. You can't skip a question and they will ask you to go back and review. It's, I didn't have that option on my computer during the test. It's like you had to take an educated guess. Like once you hit next on the computer, you cannot go back and, oh yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and make some changes. You can't. It, it is what it is. So you should double check your work. Make sure you're positive. And if you're not sure of a question, educated guess. Don't leave an answer blank. If you do, it's going to work against you. It's going to be considered wrong. So try to avoid skip any questions, answer many questions as possible, okay? And that's pretty much it for the Ask Love, you know? It, for me personally, it's not bad, it's not difficult, you know? If you're high school, if you're in high school and you already graduated from high school or you're in college, you should be fine. You have to be a dumb as a rock not to pass this test. It's not, it's not too difficult. The hard part is getting the highest score that you need to get the job that you wanted. That's the hard part. Getting in the score you need to get to the military is not difficult, like in my opinion. I'm out of high school, so it's not bad, I guess. As long as you have that high school education, you've been in school, you're all good. So it's very basic stuff. It's not difficult. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you learned something from this video. Good luck on the ASS Lab and good luck to your future military um, career and stay tuned for my next video.